not playing with a full deck to supersize your business. Sharon Hornellstrom here. There's only 44 cards in this particular deck. Now, it is a Go Fish deck of my granddaughter's, so it isn't meant to have 52 cards like a standard deck of cards. But this is one of those idioms on the internet that is uh, got a very confusing history because they try to attribute it to George Carlin. The internet does. If you Google it, it most of the searches that come up um, or most of the responses that come to the search for what's the origin of not playing with a full deck, uh, give a credit to George Carlin, the stand-up comedian in 1965. He used not uh, playing with a full deck to mean um, mentally not sufficient or, uh, let me take a peek at this, um, deranged, crazy, not sufficient, um, not not having all of your wits about you or all of your faculties. Now, that's not where it came from at all. It actually, in the 1500s, there was a tax placed on decks of cards. I have no idea why. We don't know why people do the things that they do most of the time. But there was a tax placed on, on cards. So people could get around the tax and you didn't have to pay the tax if you bought a deck of cards with 51 cards in it instead of 52. Nowadays, what they do is they would say, buy 51 cards and get one free, right? That's what marketers would do nowadays, smart marketers. But they didn't do that. Back in the day, they just sold decks of 51 cards instead of 52 to avoid paying the tax. And that meant sometimes people were playing with less than the full deck. They weren't using all 52 cards. It meant to not be completely honest in a contest or in a discussion. Maybe you were holding something back. So I like that meaning a whole lot better than than uh, judging other people and putting people down and thinking that they don't have all their, their faculties. However, I suspect most of my generation and beyond thinks of not playing with a full deck as being at somehow being at a disadvantage and not having all the information. Uh, so we need to know that both can exist. Maybe people say you're not playing with a full deck when you're withholding information, you're not sharing all the facts, you're uh, keeping something secret. There's a lot of trade secrets going on in the world of business. Uh, so I think that that's important in business. We need to know what to share, when to share it, who to share it with, because we get burned if we trust absolutely everyone on the planet, because not everybody has the same heart that you do. Not everybody wants to make the world a better place. Some people just want to make their life better, not other people's lives better. I know, sad but true. So have you had experience with this particular idiom or expression? Has anyone ever told you you're not playing with a full deck? I guarantee my ex-husband told me sometimes that I wasn't playing with a full deck because he thought I was crazy. So he definitely thought not playing with a full deck meant crazy. Unless, of course, we were playing cribbage and we didn't actually have a full deck for some reason and we would figure that out as we were playing the game. So I, I actually like this expression, the meaning of to not be completely honest or uh, in a discussion or a contest uh, versus the, the other version, which I think more people believe is, hey, you're somehow at a disadvantage if you are uh, being, I guess, if you don't have all your, your wits about you. So share in the comments below your experience or your thoughts on this particular idiom. And I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting emotion-related idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it to supersize and grow your business right now? Have an awesome day.